Today we're going to talk about the solar bolt and how it's used in conjunction with one of our other liftgate charging systems. Then we're going to go through and show you what the lights mean and kind of how it's connected in this liftgate battery box. In order to see the solar bolt control module, we're going to move our plate out of the way here that houses the DC to DC converter for our other charging system. The reason you may want to be able to access and look at the light is if you are trying to troubleshoot the system, it's very important you know what it is doing. When we go through the four different options, the first one we have is a solid green, which means your liftgate batteries are between 13 and 14 volts. Most of the time that's going to tell you, hey, the, you, know, you have sunlight, the unit is charging, and those batteries are a fairly good state of charge. A green flashing indicates that the batteries are between 12.4 volts and 13 volts. This means the system is charging, but those liftgate batteries are still in a discharge condition. They just haven't reached full state of charge yet. Anytime you do have a green flashing light, you'll want to check it using a clip-on ammeter so that you can verify that the system is charging the batteries. Our next indicator is a blinking orange light, which means your liftgate batteries are between 10 and 12.4 volts. Another part of the solar bolt is the indicate that also comes with the system that is mounted at the front of the trailer. This allows the driver to very easily, very quickly, look at the state of charge indicator for the liftgate batteries. That tells us the liftgate batteries are above 12.4 if it's green. If it's below 12.4, it's going to blink amber, saying, hey, these batteries are in a discharge condition. If the solar bolt is used in conjunction with another charge source, such as a dual pole, we have a source light on our indicator as well. That'll tell us when they plug the dual pole in if we have power there. If the dual pole or whatever input source was plugged in, that light should become green, saying we do have power on that source. Just like our direct and select, the solar bolt was designed to be a two-step process for evaluation for the driver to be able to know exactly what the system is doing before he leaves and for the technician to be able to very easily diagnose the system and verify that it is working properly. Both of these are very important because we want to make sure that when that gate leaves the yard it is ready to work and it's going to be able to provide trouble-free service.